can you tell that I am comfortable or not? Hey, what's up, my friend? Don't I look comfortable? What's happening, guys? Yes, I'm still enamored. Oh, green light. <laughs> and my hazards are on too. But anyway, don't I look comfortable? I'm still enamored with the Bond Body Armor Airtex shirt. That is a mouthful. I'm just gonna call it my Bond shirt. Chicken Bond Bond, Chicken Bond Bond. Yeah, it's all sorts of awesome. And it fits under this stylish Harley Davidson zip up hoodie. Links in the description below. <laughs> I'm just an ass. No, there's no, I'm not, I'm not selling Harley shirts now. Gee whiz. Besides, Harley does not allow its stuff to be sold outside of its own dealer network or preferred network of providers. Did you ever notice that you can't buy Harley parts like on Amazon? Yeah, okay, I'm riding here. I'm trying to vlog here. What's up, guys? Ha! But yeah, I tried to buy some Harley stuff on uh, Amazon one time. It's not there. It's not there. And that is today's, one of today's topics. We are in pole position. Great spot for jump off. And to look at this. So this AirTech shirt, man, I'm just, I'm all over the moon about it. But before I do, we got a light. We got a light. We're good. We got 2019 Street Glide Special. We got cheap gas, cheaper gas. And look at this. It hardly looks like there's anything under it at all. It really does. So not only do I look stylish, in my opinion, with the Harley sweatshirt on, and this one's worn, right? This one's like three years old, so it doesn't look as blue as it used to, okay? But, 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 I've got the AirTex shirt underneath of it, and I would zip it down, but my glove fingers don't work. But the AirTex is under it. Now, the trick of it is going to be, did the little uh, did the little pull tab thingies, did they go inside or outside of the sweatshirt? Because they like to blow around at highway speed, and we're going to get on the highway today. Oh, yeah. But first, we're going to make a Pittsburgh left. Green light, baby, go. Yeah, got him. Yeah, that beats, that beats this shit out of staying back and getting caught and waiting for people to cross the road and i'm a motorcyclist let me through oh yeah oh yeah good times good times so back on topic amazon does not sell harley parts i tried to buy the air compressor gauge tool i tried to buy like uh other harley bits and bobbles you might be able to find them from like third-party resellers but they're uber expensive and nobody wants to pay full price anymore ever if you're old enough you'll remember this one i'm not gonna pay a lot for that muffler <laughs> oh my goodness i need my coffee what the hell is wrong with me today oh shoot i also need gas let's go get gas real quick On a side note, I'm always intrigued as to why gas prices are different, like a mile from each other. I get that there's distribution costs and you gotta get the pipelines in order or something. I'm not a pipeline expert or anything, but you know, I did stay at a Motel 6 one time and I, I don't get that this station is 387 for premium and like a mile down the road, it's 450 a gallon for premium. That just doesn't make any sense to me. Why would they do that? I don't get it. Woohoo! Road rage in a big cage. <laughs> oh, these drivers are out here. You gotta have your head on a swivel and you gotta know what they're gonna do before they know what they're gonna do. But if anybody can explain to me why gas prices are so wildly different at like competing stations, I'll, I'll never get it. Uh, you know, I, I just don't get it. Back to the Bond body armor thing for a second. Did I tell you it's 58 degrees out this morning? It is brisk. I love it. This is my favorite time of year. Absolutely. You know, if it weren't for the, uh, weren't for the wind, the wind is a little bit dicey some days. 
but it's not too terribly bad. And look, our cranes are still working. Wonder what the hell they're building over there. But man, I am super comfortable. Oh, I love it. This is great. Comfort is the name of my game and there is no shame in that game. Can I get over? Yeah, I get over. Whee. Can I get over again? Yeah, I get over again. <laughs> Torque, baby. Torque. Whoop, brakes. Brakes, baby, brakes. But how is it that a company like Harley gets to determine who can sell their products? I mean, is it because they are their own distributor? I think that might be the case. They might be their own distributor, and that is why you only see Harley products sold through Harley, uh, Harley recommended or approved dealers, and no Amazon. They probably don't want their prices cut. They want to make that sweet, sweet profit, because money is the name of everybody's game. I know I said comfort is mine, but money makes you comfortable. You know, they, they often say you can't buy happiness, but it is better to cry in a Mercedes than a Pinto. <laughs> Besides, you're not crying for long in a Pinto. You're parked, you'll get rear-ended. Boom, big bowl, big bowl of flames. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh, I love it. This is so nice out, such a beautiful day. It's gonna be 70 degrees later. Might be able to ditch the sweatshirt. I don't know, I might just be comfortable all day. Could you imagine being comfortable with one outfit? That's some like Marty McFly, Back to the Future Part Two type stuff. Could you imagine getting off your bike after riding through a like torrential downpour and your jacket and pants just go drying and then whoosh and you're dry? How cool would that be? That would be pretty, pretty cool. That guy's got an extra mirror. I don't know if you can see it, but he's got one on his front fender. That's kind of interesting. An old CRV with no spare tire, but a Thule or tool Frontier rack. Interesting. And aftermarket wheels. Those wheels are probably worth as much as the whole car. Yeah, take that to the bank. The car's worth like 1,500 bucks. Although in today's market, 10 grand. People are asking stupid money for old stuff. It's crazy. Oh, and it sounds like too. Oh. Oh my God. I don't know how much the camera picks up on that. But that is horrendous. Whoa, what are we doing? Know your escape routes, part 38. Oh, that freaking CRV stinks too. My goodness. Hey, John, when you're in your 40s, did you ever think you'd be riding around on your Harley and commenting about the cars around you on a camera to then later edit and put on YouTube? No, no way in God's green earth did I think I was gonna be doing this with my time. <laughs> but it's fun. Let me tell you, it continues to be fun, so I continue to do it. It's a vicious cycle. And he's on his phone, you <laughs> Conventional wisdom would say, do not be directly in front of the idiot playing on their phone, not paying attention to the road. But I got eyes in the back of my head. They are currently covered by my helmet and I'm good to go. So the first half of this video was all about Amazon and Harley parts, and now we've delved into the sh things the f drivers around here do. We we just go around all of them. We just go around all of them. Yeah, look at that. Oh, you're on your brakes, really? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not messing around with any of you people. Ah, I can breathe again. Yes, I get claustrophobic. Do you get claustrophobic when there's too many vehicles around you? Let me know in the comments below. All right, that's enough. I'm out. See you guys in the next one. Freaking red lights. Golly, Amos. I don't know who Amos is, but he pissed off somebody. Bye.